What's up guys? Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. Have you ever seen your apps acting like this? They are either loading or waiting to download. The ones waiting remain dimmed, while the ones loading showing a spinning wheel. You might have just restored from iCloud or transfer from an old device. Usually it'll finish downloading in the end. All you have to do is wait patiently. But that doesn't work when there's something wrong with the followings. The network connection, the app store service, or the iOS itself. Fortunately, we do have solutions for these. In this tutorial, I'll work you through the most effective of them. Let's get into it. The first one is the simplest. All you have to do is touch and hold the app. Then you'll see the options to cancel, pause, and prioritize download. You can pause the download and then resume it. Just like this. Or simpler, you can just tap on it. It'll pause instantly. Tap on it again. It'll resume. As we talked about in the beginning, this often has something to do with network issues. So here is how to check it out. In settings, connect to a network. Then open Safari, see if you can visit iCloud.com smoothly. If not, you might want to switch to another network for a change, or use cellular data instead. Then, you'd want to make sure you have allow App Store access to your Wi-Fi or cellular data. A more powerful solution is go ahead and reset the network settings. Just make sure you have your Wi-Fi passwords ready. After the phone restarts, all you have to do is connect to a stable network. As we know, the download goes automatically after a restore, so naturally we have the option to do it in our own way. Just delete the apps from home screen. Then in App Store, we download them manually. This won't delete the app data, so rest assured. Moving on, if your software version is too old, the apps might not be compatible. So you want to go to Software Update and keep your iOS up to date. The next quick fix is give you phone a force restart. For iPhone 10 or later, is press and quickly release the volume up, then press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold the side button. Let it go when Apple logo appears. Another way to do a force restart is using Rayboot, which spares you from using the buttons. All you have to do is connect your device to a laptop, then click on Enter Recovery Mode. Once in, go ahead and click on Exit Recovery Mode. In seconds, your phone will boot to the home screen and everything will be refreshed. That's it, just one button click. If the issue persists, you can repair your phone using the standard mode of Rayboot which updates your phone to the latest iOS, at the same time preserve all your data. After getting you the firmware, the repair will begin. All it takes is a stable network. So, as you can see, this is how it works. At this point, your apps might have done loading from iCloud, just like mine. The spinning wheel reached the end, and everything is back. In the last part here, we'll go over how to update or reinstall the iOS using iTunes. You'll need to put the device into recovery mode first. Then iTunes will suggest an update or restore. You'd want it to go on with the update. Download the firmware. Then here we go. Just like that. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Tenorshare channel. See you in the next one.